What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Sir Major, and I am coming to you guys uh, to do a live broadcast. I want to talk about this case that you guys see me talking about, the case that you see all over the news. Again, my friend attorneys um, who actually have phone calls with later on, I've uh, got some conferences calls because some of them are doing some Toledo cases. But, um, you know, it's a shame that black folks are put into these compromising situations, uh, these uncomfortable, unbearable uh, situations. And, you know, I felt compelled to talk about this story because how can you call yourself not even an activist, but how can you call yourself black? How can you call yourself or classify yourself as an African-American and you remain silent as another black person is um, being murdered? Uh, murdered, I can't say on national TV because sometimes this stuff just isn't televised. But a black man was murdered, cold-blooded, for no reason. He was lynched. Police killings are modern-day lynchings. I see the debate over uh, if you see me struggling with the police, don't record it, jump in. And while I say, share that same sediment, we have to be mindful. We don't need two dead people. So black folks are put in this compromised situation. Do I fight and get involved or do I stand and record? I say to you, the simplest way to answer that question, if there are only two people, two witnesses, stand and record. Because without your video evidence and your testimony, it's the cop versus two dead people. Does that make sense? If there are only two people out on location where you have a bystander, the person that's filming, and the person that's getting assaulted or accosted by the police, you don't get involved. You stand and you film from a distance. Now, if there was more than four people out there and you have reasonable belief that someone was about to die due to the negligence or the mishandling by a police officer, get the fuck involved. Get involved if it's more than two people out there. Knock that cop's motherfucking head off. Because I will. Let Toledo police try that here. Let Atlanta police try that here. Let Michigan police try that here. I'm telling you, I'm knocking their fucking head off. And I'll worry about the consequences and repercussions on the back end. But I'm not going to let a black person die right before me. Not going to happen. 